King penguins are in danger due to climate change, especially after the increased temperatures. Penguins started to take precautions, such as using indoor and outdoor coolers. With the help of sustainable energy resources, penguins create a safe environment by reducing the temperature for themselves. They also use herbs and medicine when they get sick. Unlike humans, penguins never fight with each other and live in great unity and solidarity and always help each other. They cheer up with the help of entertainment venues, increase education in schools and libraries, and never forget spirituality. All penguin settlements follow the orders of the king. The settlement with the best reputation score becomes the king in the United Penguin Kingdom. Penguins build defense towers against killer whales and thief seals. Killer whales attack waterside buildings and try to destroy them. And seals come to the food storages to steal your food. Are you ready to start your penguin kingdom? Oh, hell yes I am. <laughs> hey everybody, my name is Charlie and welcome to United Penguin Kingdom. Huddle up. This is a, a very early look at a game. It's going to take us through the first year of in-game time only. So it's a, kind of a free version. You can try it out on Steam if you'd like to. Link in the description. Uh, the full version of the game is scheduled to come out in Q1 or Q2 of 2024. But until then, we're going to enjoy what they got. All right, let's start a new game. So uh, we're going to go through here. I'm just going to hit uh, the basics, I suppose. I, I can make it harder if I really want to, but whatever. We're only first year, right? Uh, if you like this video, please leave the like button. It's down there. You, you can click it. And if you know what, if, you, if at the end of it, you don't like it, just unclick the like button. You know, that, that's that's a thing you can do as well. Okay. Uh, task. I don't know what this means. Uh, if you turn on the settings, you're going to receive tasks. Tasks give rewards after you complete them. Also, you can earn extra reputation points if you complete them on time. Interesting. Uh, okay, well, we'll leave them on. Let's go next. There are three islands on the map. This is map one. Uh, and then there's, of course, other maps we could probably do, but they're going to be locked right now. So let's go to map one. Uh, and let's choose a color. Oh, look at this dude with his little glasses. I got to do it. Oh, absolutely. We got to do it. And then uh, let's pick... Uh, this looks like, like we're the, the penguin police, the nerd penguin police here. I think I like this one. We'll go with this one. Uh, and I'm going to call our kingdom is just going to be, uh, this, we're the waddle kingdom. Waddle, the waddle kingdom. I don't know. <laughs> there you go. All right. So let's hit continue. Oh, there's our little penguins. <laughs> Sweet. All right. So Welcome. This is a great area to start a new settlement. First, you should place initial buildings. These buildings can be placed in any order you prefer. Okay. So, please click a building and then place. We have the builder's hut, the warehouse, the small food storage, pharmacy, treasury, and the huddle center. So, let's find our huddle center. I'm going to put it right about here, I think. There's our huddle center. It's not really in the middle of the island, but it's going to be close enough to where everybody can huddle together. And we'll primarily develop on this side of the island. Okay. There are three islands on this. We have one here. We have one here. We have one over here, too. Okay, next thing to do, then, is to place other buildings that we need. Builder's Hut's going to be next, and uh, we can rotate it and have it be... I am think I'm going to place the Builder's Hut. Uh, let's put it right here, right? And then we have the Warehouse, which I think is going to be really nice to put that next to the Builder's Hut. I'm going to put that over like this. Uh, small food storage is going to have to come down over here, I think, is probably a good place for it, because I'm going to end up doing some fishing. So I'll do, I think, that pharmacy uh we'll probably place that over here on this side about uh actually i could probably get away with it being there i'm gonna, I'm gonna put it here though face it that way and then finally the treasury uh we'll put that near the city center i think is a good idea we'll put that over like this all right so you ready to start your penguin kingdom good luck all right so hey, let's take a look and see what this game's got going for all right we're gonna pause the game we have an event log down on the bottom left so we can see all the things that keep happening to us and we can expand that whenever we want to standard uh stuff for city builders right we've got all of our resources along the top here we have uh various different specs that we can look at including our happiness level education level and our reputation as we level up our reputation we will become uh bigger and better uh, up here right here we have the the ranking in the United Penguin Kingdom. Right now we're we're ranked level four. We're ranked forty three. We got we got a ways to go. We're starting with seven thirty six reputation as we head all the way up here. If we want to be king, well, we're gonna have to get all the way up 
to 6188 and we have to basically uh get a better reputation than the top uh settlement if you will for the kingdom uh, and then we become the king yeah, that's cool but we're gonna start near the bottom right now at 736 right so uh reputation is gained as a combination of all sorts of things we get more uh, we get more uh, reputation by having more penguins having them be happier having higher education having more gold all sorts of different things and there are also certain events that can happen in the game that will temporarily raise our reputation as well as temporarily decrease our reputation those will all be linked there first thing i think i need to do is uh get some housing for these little penguins they're not really uh they don't have any housing yet so we're gonna have to do that and now that we have all of these primary buildings placed uh the builder penguins will be the ones that are going ahead and take that so we're gonna head uh, over here and let's say we fully occupy the builder's hut with as many workers as it takes to have that uh, we can also go up to the professions menu it's got sort of a banished style uh professions menu up here where we can elect to have our idle workers go ahead and go through the builder's huts unlike a lot of games builders actually go get the resources and uh you go ahead and build so it's not like the settlers the, the idle ones are going to bring it to the build site the builders will go get the stuff and they'll go ahead and build it as well but the main logistics engine and moving resources around i would I suspect that's probably still your idle workers uh, we have the warehouse here and it's made as the primary warehouse in the game currently and i hope they ch i really do hope they change this uh if you decide to demolish a building you get all the resources and the gold back for demolishing it so essentially placing buildings is consequence free if you want to move it around you can just delete it and place it again immediately uh provided of course the builders can build it all right so we're going to be given a new task now and it says as you can guess our lovely penguins need to rest adult and child penguins live in different houses when the rest bar is empty penguins go rest uh go home to rest so we need to uh do this we can get a 2.22 months reputation gain temporary gain by uh completing this task we need to build a kid's house as well as three lodges and a wind turbine to power it all and i can postpone it a month or i could just do it and you know what i think uh we just do it right so um we'll accept this and come down here and we're gonna go to housing we need to build a kid's house and i actually i'm gonna start with the uh wind turbine first i think uh just to get a feel for the range okay so the range of this uh if i place it back here in this spot like right here we can power all of these buildings i think it will get the town center too uh i, th I think so it just won't get that one but at least it gives me some power on this side to like know exactly where it is so it's definitely gonna power these buildings which is good uh, and now because of that i know i can come out this direction about this far or so and I'll, I'll be able to place another wind turbine over here so uh with this done let's go over to our kids housing and uh well, how about we put the kids house maybe back in here it seems like a fair place to do it now these initial buildings to get things set up initially uh, -huh, uh these are all done uh instantly they're they're all built instantly but now all the rest of the stuff we build will need to be constructed so required materials are snow blocks we need eight of them and three stone at the top we start looks like a uh, normal difficulty anyway we start with 92 snow blocks and uh uh i guess 120 stone so plenty of building resources initially uh, so that's gonna be fine and then we'll go with the lodges and uh, i don't think i want to place the lodge here i'd rather place it somewhere else um so getting a feel for where that could go i, I kind of want to put it back here uh, so maybe we put lodges back like this we'll say um uh we'll go one two and then we'll turn it around maybe and place another one here we could do three four but i want to place something else right there so i'm thinking we'll go uh three like that and then uh just taking a look at other things we're gonna want ice spear towers and stuff we're gonna need to defend ourselves right um but what i'm looking at is need for power i think i'll put power back here like this should be here right it should be here i think it should be here let's dismantle that building we get refunded all the gold right consequence free and uh i think we'll go ahead and place this here instead and that will provide the power that we need for those two residences and then we'll go in and grab the lodge on this side and we'll place this lodge to be actually just in a row over here is fine because it's in range of it still that's good uh and then I want to get I think uh 
the trolley dock. Trolling dock is going to allow us to basically fish, which is good. We're going to get krill and all sorts of different types of fish. Now, this dock has to be on the edge. It has to be in near the water, all right? And uh, our food storage and stuff is right over here. So we want to keep this close to the food storage if possible. Uh, so we're going to place this. I don't think this is going to end up having power. So I think I placed this a little bit too close, but we'll have another power facility right here. So it should be okay. So we'll place this right here. Now you'll notice the icon, right? It has a little whale icon and it's red. And this means that this building is in danger of being attacked by whales. But this is how you get your food. So you want to, we want to take care of that soon too. Um, all right. So all of our housing goes up here. We have power for those. We have uh, our pharmacy. Now this is going to need herbs and medicine. And that type of stuff is gathered from an herbs collector, which I need science points to get. So the last thing I want to make sure we're building is our science. And we're going to go to uh, the science hub here. And uh, I think I want to put this in the center though. Let's put this, uh, let's put it in the center. We'll put it right. I can actually stick it over here too. It just is, is there enough space for a house right here? Hold on. Uh, is there enough space for a lodge to be here? So the science building would have to go next to that, which I think is fine. I think we'll do, we'll do that. And then, um, we'll go ahead and put the science building, uh, right next to that here in the town center like that. Okay. So with that being done, we have kids' houses. We have extra igloos and stuff for our penguins. We're going to want the science hub to be a higher priority. So we're going to set that to be the highest so they build it soon. Uh, then we're going to have the trawling deck dock, sorry, dock be next. I want kids' houses to be up as well as three of our igloo lodges to be there too. And then everything else can be built after that. Ready, set, go. Okay. So our builders, of course, are going to go ahead and take care of all of those things. We're going to speed up time. Let's take a look at some of the other things that the game has while they're building that, right? We're going to earn badges. And these are done by basically getting all the requirements for that badge completed. And then they become an active badge. And you get to determine which badges are active. And you get certain rewards for that too. So if we get this badge, for example, the amusement badge, build an ice rink. It's just humorous that they even need that. Uh, a cinema, a game center, a nightclub, all these types of things. Then we get a speaker tower from our science menu, and we earn an additional three happiness for nightclub visits. And same thing with beauty badge. We can and we do all these things, right? So we can choose which one is active, and it will appear up here. Um, and then we get that bonus. So if we have something else that we want a bonus from it, situationally, we can go ahead and then do that. Now, this is not going to have any power yet, so... I guess we will need that wind turbine to be built as well. All right. The so trawling dock is done. We're going to want workers there too, but we don't have any additional workers. Idle, it doesn't look like. Uh, weird that the professions menu, I guess there's there's two idle. But it says there's no idle penguins down here, but there is two. Um, we'll go ahead and do this. Maybe it's just behind. Uh, you, you know, the thing is, there's no uh, there's no energy for it, right? So that makes sense. So we're going to want to get the energy done here too. Let's put the wind turbine as the highest priority now and see if they go ahead and build that next. Uh, so we'll put the put the builders back on the task really quick because they need power in order to actually work this. So this has to be built before these buildings end up being uh, even good to go here. And then this one here also needs built as well. So we'll get that one going. And then here we go. We have these, these lodges now are completed. They're done. With this one done, all of these buildings will have power. That's very nice. And then finally, we need one more, one more turbine. And I think maybe we just place this. I don't want it to overlap too much. So I, I need something else to be here. Let's see what we can do there. How about we put something recreational there? How about we put something, something fun? Can I put something fun there? Not a builder's hut. Something fun. Playgrounds, carousels. Uh, we're going to need to unlock that from the science center in order to be able to do that. Also, some of these look like they're unlocked with exploration. So no, you can't you can't research them. You have to find them. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, I would like to leave enough room for some of these fun things. So we could 
temporarily focused on technology. We'll get one of our penguins to focus on gathering science points for us. Uh, so task is completed now. Since you've completed the task on time, 10 temporary reputation points were awarded for six months. Cool. We get a little bit of gold and we get some seafood mix, which I guess postpones the need to have this building operational in the first place. But because this building is here, it's now at risk of uh, us, you know, having to deal with whales. And you know, there's really no reason for this building to exist as long as we have a good amount of food, right? So we got 20 squid, 30 dried fish, 35 fish, 40 krill, uh, and then there's the seafood mix. I, I think we have a good amount of that stuff anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and dismantle the building, actually. You get our full refund. And now we're not at risk uh, for the whales anyway, because that building's out of out of range. And until I get another one unlocked in place here, I don't want to place another uh, wind turbine. I'm just going to hold off on that for a second. So we're generating one science point, and it seems like the intervals are pretty quick. I would say they happen pretty fast. I'll set what the new task is here. So, oh, now they're going to give me a temporary bonus if I build uh, the trawling dock. So let's postpone this one month. I want to hold off on that just a little bit more. Now, you can see the seal. This seal, I, I always thought seals ate penguins. I thought that was like a thing. Maybe it's like only a certain type of seal that eats penguins. These Supposedly, these are leopard seals. So I, I thought... They did. But anyway, what they do is they go into our food stock and they start stealing our food, right? So they just stole our seed food mix. So to prevent that from happening, we can uh, put in place some uh, defenses. This is ice spear towers. And these towers can defend this place from these seals as long as we are in range of our food stocks. And so perhaps that's what I place here instead. Um, if I'm going to build the trawling deck, if I'm going to do that, where where does this go? I, I want it to be here. So pretty much right on the door is where that wall is going to go. Okay. So knowing that, I can place my defenses. And I got to figure out where defenses are. Technology and defense. Here it is. Uh, I'm going to place the defense. Place, place this maybe right here. It does open me up for a potential problem with placement here. But remember, we can always reposition things kind of free. So I'm going to place that there. And that's going to provide us with adequate defense to uh, start shooting at seals. We will shoot the seals uh, when they come up to steal our food. All right, in the science menu, we're currently a village. We need to level up our reputation to unlock new stages. But right now, here's our tech tree. As we level up, we can move into city, and then we'll be able to have access to all of these things, and then we'll pop become a province there we go here and then finally once we reach king we then get access to all of these as well which is crazy <laughs> uh that we have all of this stuff locked behind the maximum reputation <laughs> i think that's pretty cool and in fact if we lose king status i i would assume them we're locked out of any of uh any more of these things but i would also assume that building any of these things like a manor and a, you know gold collectors things like these i would think that those would help our reputation um what I would like to get here, I think, is we can do snow block makers, but I think this is what I want. The basic cooler, right? Global warming is happening, right? Climate change is affecting the penguins. This cooler will allow us to keep an area colder and that will make penguins in that area happy. So we're gonna wanna maybe save our science points uh, to unlock this. Um, and uh, it cooler creates extra ice for an area. Penguins do not lose health when they are in the interaction area of an active cooler. This cooler gives three happiness points to houses around it. Cool. And uh, we also have the snow block maker, which allows us to produce more snow blocks. And that works with our defense towers and stuff as well. Um, so I think I'm going to save for the cooler. I can buy the snow block maker now, but I think I am going to save for that cooler. And maybe I could even get science points faster by having a second science hub. That's not out of the question either. We could put a second science hub in here and just have two of them right now. Although I was going to put something... I, I think like a, a bigger thing here would work. Like an ice rink could probably work here better. But remember, we can just delete things and, re, and rebuild them later, right? So uh, why don't we just go ahead and line this up? Uh, right up against it is good. We'll just line that up. 
and we can have two science places. Now, uh, the Ice Spear Tower right here, it needs somebody there. So we're going to put somebody on the Ice Spear Tower, and this removes uh, it removes this, the, the professions menu. We have no more idle penguins. So we're only starting with a few penguins here. Not, not very many. Um, we have this egg up here, and this egg is going to allow or disallow mating, okay? And so if we want to disallow mating, we don't want anyone to, you know, any new kids to be born, you know, population control, right? We don't have enough food to have our population grow, that kind of situation. We can click this and then mating won't be allowed. But I'm gonna leave it on because I want more penguins. We can take, we'll take a look at the kids' house. We can see that four kids are able to be here at a time. And uh, I don't exactly know, looks like we have uh, four kids. We only have four kids. Yeah, yeah. So if we want to have more kids, I suppose we probably need more housing for them. Uh, but we do have capacity for eight penguins, to, adult penguins, to live. And we have six adult penguins now. So there's a population. Uh, we're able to get a higher population of penguins here. And then uh, it takes one year for a child penguin to become an adult penguin. And when they become an adult penguin, they will then go out and, uh, and start living in this area here too. Uh, okay, so we are shooting... The seal it did steal our food but we're shooting the seal and the thing about that though is you have to have ammunition so what this guy in the tower is doing is he's turning the blocks of ice into ice spears and then we can throw those spears so i can tell them to convert a certain amount like say nine for example and what he'll do is he'll sit up here and he'll make the spears until he reaches the amount and then he'll be able to shoot them <laughs> so we just took took out one of our one of the seals that's been stealing our food he will attack immediately upon seeing them in this range here and uh and these only work against seals as far as i know to combat against whales there is another uh, building and that is the ice cannon tower this takes two blocks of ice and makes sort of like these big ice balls and then those are used to attack killer whales and you need significantly uh more firepower to take out the whales okay so um in the meantime i think maybe what i'm gonna build here now that we have uh did we just kill another one nope maxine grew up and clayton grew up excellent all right excellent excellent yes very excellent and we're gonna kill that seal now too uh oh maybe not we don't have the ice block yeah we'd have one spear shoot it shoot it shoot it no he left his post to go get more ice he got away we're gonna get him next time <laughs> anyway uh we have 18 science points now uh, i can do a whole of different things here there's a newcomer ramp here as well and the newcomer ramp is a good way for other penguins that are not part of our existing colony right now to join us from the outside but again this thing is placed on the edge of the ocean which means it is susceptible to being attacked by whales I think I'm going to still hold off of the basic cooler first because if I can make the penguins really happy, then they'll produce uh, on their own and reproduction on your own is going to be the safer route there. Uh, let's go one more in the science hub and then I have an idle penguin, which uh, is there any other buildings I could maybe do for an idle, another idle penguin? Hmm. I don't want this here. It's, that's too much overlap. I want to put a cooler right there is what I'm hoping to do is put a cooler right here. So uh, I'm going to wait on that, and then I could probably go expand this way. Yeah, let's, let's try to expand this way. So we're going to say we want to put another kid's house. Let's do two kid's houses. We'll do one uh, here, so we can have more kids as a capacity thing. Uh, and then we'll put another house uh, here, and here, and over here. And then we're going to want to place another wind turbine to kind of get them all connected to power. There we go. About here, I guess. That works for me. And then we'll have to put coolers on both sides, but that's okay. We're expanding. So, uh, yeah, we'll put put this right. Uh, there's no way to get all of them. So I'm going to have to do two. One here and then one uh, over here, I suppose, is, is where it makes sense, right? I guess I could even come down like this a little bit, too. So we'll leave this one unpowered for now. We don't have that many kids, so... Can actually maybe even pause construction on that one for now uh, although again we get a full refund so whatever right uh, let's make that just a little bit higher priority that way we can get this house operational quicker and i think 
yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and make that trolley. Now, didn't we have... We had that... Uh, I think we delayed it a month, right? The, the new task? So if the new task doesn't show up in March, then I guess I just missed it. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, finally, there is a defense menu over here too. And this shows us how many ice spears we have in stock because we're going to have to defend all around for seals and different food stocks and stuff, right? Eventually, you'll have to be fishing in a lot of different places. Uh, and we can also see uh, if we had more you know, ice balls, we'd be able to see that too. Uh, that statistic as well. And then it also shows us how many seals we've killed and how many killer whales we've killed. All right. Uh, finally, I, I think uh, there's only one more interface I haven't talked about yet, and that is underneath the resource panel. This is a calendar, and the calendar basically shows us when things are going to come in. So in August, we're going to have a killer whale show up, and uh, you know we'll have to be ready to defend against it, or we just simply don't have any buildings on the edge in August, and then we don't have to worry about it. But more seals, a group of seals are going to show up soon. Probably going to want to be ready for a group of seals, right? So uh, why don't we get another ice spear? And uh, maybe we can put two of these like side by side here. This is our only food stock. So I think having two of these, uh, maybe in that direction, would be better, right? To have two of these right there. Here's our task. And it wants me to build the trawling dock now. So we can go ahead and accept this. Uh, I think that's a good thing to accept now. We're going to have extra idle penguins soon. So we'll go ahead and get our trawling dock here now. Uh, we're also running out of food, right? We have no more seafood mix. Uh, we have less squid than we had a long time ago. Dried fish, fish, krill. All this stuff is going to start uh, diminishing here if we don't start fishing. So that's what we need to do. So trawling dock is going to go right here like it was before. Now knowing where that is, we can finally... I think I can start placing... Again, I want the cooler to be there, though. Did we get my science? I did. Basic cooler. All right, there's my science of basic cooler. Uh, and I can also get vases and stuff as well. These decorations will add happiness uh, to things around them. So you want to leave little spaces for things if we can. Uh, we can also get the herbs collector now, which is probably a good idea. But one one thing on the edge at a time, I think, here is probably for the best. Unless I get the newcomer. You know what? Newcomer ramp would help us a lot, wouldn't it? I'm going to get that too. All right. So now that we're on the edge and we're susceptible to whales anyway, why don't we go ahead and get the newcomer ramp? And we can place this... Uh, it's got to be... I'll just place it right next to the fishing place. That way we can cover everything with the existing power and defense and all that stuff. Um, although I would want to leave room for defense against whales in this case. I think it would probably be a good, smart idea to do that. So uh, why don't we leave a little bit of space between... I could put the defense behind it, though. The defense behind it would work. Yeah, we'll just place it right here. Okay. Newcomer dock right there. All right. And we have... The, the spears will shoot at the whales, too. Don't, don't get me wrong. Like the, When the whales come, the spears will shoot, too. Um, but primarily, they're going to be more effective against the seals. And now we have really good defenses for those types of things. Uh, let's get the newcomer ramp to be the priority. We have no ice blocks, though. Oh, no more snow blocks. Oh, boy. Uh, well, snow blocks are not necessary for building, but uh, we need garbage to, to build things. I didn't notice that. Uh, garbage, plastic, and wood. And we have plenty of those resources, so we should be able to build things like the newcomer ramps. Um, but a snowblock maker is actually going to be needed now, isn't it? I haven't been paying attention to that. So let's go get the snowblock maker too. Otherwise, we are not going to be able to make any more spears. We're going to be completely out of them. No good. So let's grab that. And then we'll go ahead and build that too. We'll grab the... Uh, basic cooler, I wanted to be here. Now, if I place the cooler in this area, you could see how it's going to add uh, some happiness in this area. So, like, if I go like this, I get uh, these three buildings pro uh, covered by the cooler. And then I can have, like, another one over here, for example. And we can cover these two buildings. It doesn't look like I can cover all of them. I was really hoping I can get all three, but we can cover this building, these two houses with coolers. All right, so that'll make them happier. Uh, we can cover uh, this area here with coolers. I'd like to do that. I wonder if there's uh, a building I can place in this spot. Let's see. Uh, Huddle Center, Newcomer Ramp, Ice Spear Towers. I don't think there's any new... Maybe the Snowblock Maker could go here. Yeah. Snowblock Maker here, and then they can be helping us make these things for this area. It's probably for the best. We go like this, 
And then if I do that, can I get the snow? I, I, I have to figure out where everything is. I wish they were kind of just like all in the same menu. That'd be preferable for me. Basic cooler. So I want to put this. Here. Ah, oh, I can put it here. It does fit here. I wanted to get both of the kids. Um, and then on this side, we can get these two buildings covered. But really what we need are, are these. Uh, the treasury doesn't need coverage. Yeah, the treasury is fine. Uh, the science hub maybe, but the treasury is fine. All right, snow block maker needs to be a big priority so we can continue to defend. And then we now have the newcomer ramp, which is going to give us even more penguins. And it looks like we get two more coming in in three months. Okay, excellent. So what do you guys think of this game so far, huh? Leave me a comment down below. Let me know. What do you think? It's got a little, it's got a little charm to it, right? It's, it's different enough, right? It, it's still, you know, we, we do city builders and stuff, but this one's pretty different in that the, the theme of it uh, and the fact that like we're going to have extra items or extra islands and stuff we can potentially purchase. Uh, I don't know how that works. We have 510 gold. It looks like this requires 550. But we also need to be a city before we can purchase another one, too. So I have a ways to go, huh? This early preview only works until uh, the first for the first year as well. So we're not going to be able to continuously play uh, on this um, until, I guess, Q1 or Q2 uh, of next year at some point. All right, all these buildings set up like this. We're going to need another wind turbine. And... Uh, I want to I want to do something fun right here. Can I go in the science menu? Uh, ice rink. An ice rink sounds like a good thing. Or a vase. Village hall. What is this? A building can be used to request food, medicine, materials, and gold from the king. Uh, each help request will give you a temporary penalty to reputation points. Only one help request can be made in a year. We also have a carousel. This is good for the kids. Uh, child penguins can ride this for amusement. I like that. That's good. Um, so do I want to have ice rink or the carousel? In that spot, it looks like I think the carousel fits better there. Oh, we can also increase production amount for the ice maker too. Mm, that's interesting. Ocean garbage collector. Hey. He built on the edge of the ocean. Functional. Uh, so this uh, collects ocean garbage. Then it can be reprocessed into, pla into plastic material and wood material. So we're going to need plastic recycling and wood recycling eventually as well to get that stuff up. And that's interesting. Um, I don't know about like the carousel being needed here, but uh, this only this this is working around houses. It doesn't really matter there. So I think the ice rink is probably fine here. It just requires 16 snow blocks to create it. But I'm going to I'm going to. Oh, I need I need two more points for that, don't I? Hmm. All right, carousel it is. Let's give the kids some fun, huh? So back to uh, fun carousel, and it does fit here. Ooh, fantastic. Fantastic news, everyone. So carousel here. Now, does that, does that actually... It doesn't affect houses at all. So the kids will, will come out of here, walk down the street, and go to the carousel. That's fine with me. And then after that point we can put in the wind turbine uh, from here. And then that will cover all the buildings I wanted to cover without overlapping in buildings that were already covered. Or at least not overlapping a lot. Because um, it looks like these ones here, that one's not covered, but this one is. So there's a little overlap here. Be Ideally, it'd be better to put it like right here, right? Hmm. We could maybe get away with this. I don't think it matters, honestly. We can always remove it, right? We can move literally everything we place. We can move it. So it's fine. Let's add construction progress there. So yeah, we're waiting for ice makers for sure. Ice snow block makers. Let's go ahead and get two of our idle workers to go here. And we can hopefully make some more snow blocks. What? Hold on. What? <laughs> you just... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Look at him. Look at him go. Oh, that's cool. He's just like turning the little wheel. We should probably stop and take a look at the modeling for everything too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the seal's coming in. He gets shot. Dead. Be a little dark, but hey, maybe we should eat the seal meat. Yeah, they're coming in to take our food. We turned them into food, right? 
Look, I just love how there's like this auger going in there into the ice. And then they create the snow, the snow blocks for these. That's really cool. I love the modeling on that. How's this uh, looking? This little cooler area. Now notice how these coolers, right? They turn the ice like it's a more blue color ice, right? Just kind of lets you know that it's colder in that area. And that's the whole point uh, behind these things is to turn it a lot colder in these areas. So we're definitely going to want to to cool the place down. I think uh, a grid like this for houses is probably not as effective, right? So we would want to, like, say, dismantle this building, get all the resources back for it in that situation. Uh, and then we could build another cooler, let's say right here in the middle like this. And that would provide for all of these houses. Uh, maybe even buys it this way because this one looks like it's covered by a cooler already, right? Yeah, right there. Cooler happiness. So we wouldn't need to cover that one, but we could cover the ones down here. Uh, but this one's already going to be covered too. So, uh, ooh, like this, I, I think instead. So maybe we d r dismantle this house. So we're going to have two homeless penguins now. But if we if we slide our... What is it? Like a two by... Oh, let me see. Where's this, uh, this cooler? I want to put the cooler yeah, over here near these houses, near, near these buildings. So about like this instead. Right? About here, I guess. If I do that and then place the lodge next to that, we'd have power coverage as well as the cooling coverage in this area. And it's, it gets a little gappy, right? Everything's not quite as tight as it was before. But that's okay. I think that's all right for now. We, again, we can move things around later, so it's whatever. Right? Um, so we're, this is going to be covered by power and the cooling tower there. So I think this is a good spot for this. So we place another house right there instead. Okay, cool. Awesome. Um, so let's have this built as a priority highest, and then we'll have this built as a secondary so we can get the cooler up and running as well as um, an extra lodge to make sure that we don't have any homeless penguins. We don't want any homeless penguins if we can help it. Now we're short on... Ooh, they have 150 health. Did they always have 200 health? I think they always had it. And then we want this wind turbine to be constructed as well, but I think we're running out of resources. Yeah, we don't have any garbage anymore. That is the thing we need, isn't it? So let's do an ocean garbage collector. This is going to require wood, stone, and metal to build. Thankfully, it doesn't require garbage to build. That makes sense. We do the ocean garbage collector. Where is that? It's probably in... Uh, not food and medicine. Uh, probably resources. Ocean garbage collector. Yeah, yeah. So, well, this is a big building. Oh, boy. That's going to need some defense there, too. Wow. Uh, all right. I want to place this over here, I guess. There's going to be no power until that's built. Uh, no, I'm going to need even more power for that. Well, we're going to collect, we got to collect some garbage from somewhere. How about, um, I'll just put it down there, I guess. And we'll have to have even more power, which requires the garbage to build it anyway. So that's actually not going to work. Hmm. Well, I, I got to have this, which requires garbage. It already has the garbage delivered. So now it just needs the construction done. Once this is done, then we'll have all this running and we'll have two defense towers for the seals that are coming um and then we should have the ice blocks as well yep so we'll have more spears ready too let's have you make a bunch of spears here let's have you go uh yeah let's up our up our game to like 12. i think that's probably better zoom ahead time here really quick uh, we didn't actually produce the krill, which is the timer's ticking on this, right? So we do need the power up and running, and then I need people over here to get us the krill. So now we have somebody staffed here, and if we can get that krill, then we get the bonus here. We get the krill, we get the fish as our rewards and everything here. So I think we're going to be fine here. It looks like we're, we're finally starting to pull in our own food. We are completely out of squid now, and uh, we have a little bit of dried fish, some fish, some krill, but... Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, do we choose what to do? Yeah, krill is selected, so that's what we have to do. Produce five krill. With this done, we should be able to start getting the garbage, but that requires power, and power is going to require garbage. So, 
Not great here, huh? Kind of overbuilt a little bit, didn't I? Uh, I think maybe if we pull... I want to pull the power out of this building. I think we just move this over, right? If we dismantle this building and just move it over, that's probably for the best. Let's tear that down. And before they do anything with that, let's let's bring it over here instead. Yeah, right, right here. This is actually much better, isn't it? It gets every... It's, it's, oh, almost every building. Damn. You know, they're just a little too far away. The thing is, this building doesn't require any power at all. Does it? It's just a ramp. I don't, I don't think this requires it. I should scoot this over. Yeah, this, that would, be, would probably be better. Um, in the meantime, I, I think for now... Wait. It does cover everything, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, it gets everything. That's where that's going. And this is a high priority now. This will allow us to get the garbage, and then we can make more power and move everything around. Okay? So I'm a little late on that, but I think it'll be all right. As long as I don't move this, because the arrival time, like two more months on getting two more penguins. And then we need more kids and stuff as well, all right? So. <laughs> I just love their little... <laughs> making all the noise, right? Uh, so... Are you making spears right now? Or what, are you, what are you doing? Do we have enough spears? We have uh, no ice spears. Are you out of blocks? Oh, you're out of blocks. Oh. I think this thing needs to make them faster. That's what this is for. You know, 50 more science, we can do that, and then it makes, makes, makes stuff a little bit faster. Maybe... If I, if I reduce this by a worker, does that actually slow you down? It doesn't seem like it does. That was pretty fast once they're working. Of course, the, if I had two people working here, it means one that can one can take a break, right? Because like now they're resting and we're not making any. I think that's why you'd do it. So that way one can rest while the other are working. Yeah, that's probably why. But if they're, if they're both working at the same time, though... I wonder if that actually speeds it up. It doesn't look like it. Well, it just instantly stopped. Yeah, there it goes. So the progress bar is the same. All right. Well, in that case, I probably should get somebody working on food here instead. No idle penguins. Oh, well, it, it doesn't have power. That's why. It, this, this needs to be built first. Where's our garbage? Wait, where'd the garbage go? Did you build something else? All right, I think I need to get rid of one of these science centers. That doesn't give me garbage. Hmm, I, I went too I went too far with that, guys. Definitely went too far with it. Uh, Armor pharmacy, trawling dock. I just need I need some garbage. <laughs> I need garbage to build this, which I should have gotten refunded all the garbage. So they must have put it into something else. All the, no, it wasn't the carousel. What did they put it into? Hmm, this. This is where having that place to, like, request things by the king would be helpful, wouldn't it? They might have put it into a lodge. It's very possible they put it into a lodge. Are any of these pending constructions sitting on garbage? This one is. All right, let's get rid of that. And then that will provide the garbage necessary. It should have, anyway. There was eight garbage in there, and now it says I only have three? Maybe they instantly grabbed it. They should be providing garbage in here. I should have gotten eight for that. What is this? Oh my god, the group of the group of seals. They all came in so fast and just robbed my coffers. And I couldn't do anything about it. I didn't have enough ice. Deceptively difficult there, eh? So that's what happens when you're not ready to defend yourself against one of these events. We get our newcomers here. We get an annual support payment, which will probably, uh, I guess, help a little bit. Um, the killer whale will always be a problem. And then another group of seals comes in September. Oh, boy. I I don't understand. I only got three garbage back, but that thing had eight delivered. So I don't think you actually get 100% of your resources back on destruction and demolition here. I don't think you actually do. Um, this has four currently delivered. I dismantle it. I should get four. And let's see what happens. I mean, 
I had four, so I just don't know where they're putting that garbage. I didn't have any other pending constructions that needed it. Not to my knowledge. Certainly not ones that are at higher priority. That's for sure. I'm like, I have the highest priority on this building. So I'm going to be down to seven garbage now. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, that's it is what it is. Let's get rid of that and we'll we'll get this done. And then I can rebuild this once this is completed. But it's just I didn't want to do that. I wanted to have everything running, but I guess that's the way it is. All right. Now all this stuff can run. We need people stacked here. And I need people to be here too, actually. Let's bring you down one and bring you up there. All right. We're not going to starve. <laughs> the seals took all our food. We're not going to starve, though. It's going to be fine. And this is not under any protection. But you know what? That's fine. The whale will probably go for this one because it's not under any protection. And we're not gonna really going to be able to protect it anyway. All right. We got the task completed. That's going to give us bonus food. And then uh, I want to go in. Now that I have a, a source of garbage, uh, I want to go in. Wait, I have 73 signs. Let's up the snow blocks. And uh, now we can do temples. We can do schools. We can do ice rinks. Um, I, I don't have... I don't think I'm going to do anything with the decorations just yet, but I, I do want to get those basic coolers back in. That was the, the reason I wanted this building before, so I'm gonna, still going to put that back in as a as a thing to build. And then uh, the cooler was going to go here as well, right? I believe it was here, although that one's already covered. But I believe it was there. Or I could put it over here, too. That's, that's something. Hmm, that might be better. Well, these two are covered already, so I'm only gaining this one anyway. So yeah, I guess it would be here. We'd put that is where that cooler would go. And then we have three out of four on the kids' house, but we have uh, capacity for more for more penguins here. There's uh, We have four spots remaining, so when the newcomers come in June, we'll be able to house them just fine. And now at least we have a source of garbage, or at least a way to generate garbage so that we can always continuously build Okay. Didn't play that one very well, huh? First time here, right? That's what happens. We, we do things blind and that's what happens. Uh, so we, we need to build a science hub and then generate six science points for this next one. That's very easy to do. And it'll give us 14 garbage. Where were you last month? Huh? What a great task. That would have been really helpful before. Okay. Well, knowing that that's a thing, we can go in and maybe make this colder. I think maybe from right, yeah, right there. We can make this colder. So here. Yep. Uh, this workplace would would like to have it too, though, wouldn't it? Right here would be okay. And then uh, as long as I put the tower. I don't think I can fit the tower there. Let's see. I, I don't think that's possible, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, ice spear tower can go right here. Like this. And then... We want, I just don't know where it is. It's right here. Can I put this in here to get all of them? I cannot. It's too tight. So I'd have to slide this over and that doesn't work either. Unless I, I guess I could rotate it. Then I would, that would work if I rotated it, right? Hmm, is it worth it? I don't have any garbage right now. So no, it's not really not worth it at all. Um, even though I just got it a reward, but they already took it out immediately to have to have this built. So if I want to cover this with the ice, then that's what I have to do. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. I like the little effects that it has, too. It's, it's a little loud, admittedly, and it kind of looks like electricity as opposed to, like, cold. It, it makes more sense to have this be, like, a blue wind sort of thing, similar to the way this looks. Just have that, like, emanating from it would be more accurate than this electrification thing, but otherwise, I think it's probably pretty cool. All right, so now we just need to produce snow blocks. That's easy to do. We'll get 16 snow blocks as a reward for that as well. 16 garbage needed for that ice spear tower. Good lord. That's crazy. Uh, all right, snow blocks and stone are all that's needed to build this. So we'll go ahead and turn that back on. It's going to allow us to get more kids. Snow blocks are pretty easy. There we go. We just, we're going to get a reward for this anyway, so that gets compensated. So now we have capacity for eight kids. All right. And then, uh, yeah, just building that cooler will help all these buildings. And then extra defense here. And then the snow block. We, we're now actually making plus one on that. 
So we should see as soon as the person gets uh, in there to build it. There we go. We're making two at a time now. Very nice. And then we just need more people in here to do that. So there we go. That should help us with our blocks. Uh, reach a population of 15 penguins is in fact an achievement. As is completing the tutorials, by the way. Um, they'll probably add a lot more achievements in here, but um, just complete the tutorial and you have 66% of the achievements. So they're not really achievements, to be honest. But this is also not even remotely released yet. This is a demo, so I can understand that. It's cool. Uh, we have one idle penguin, and I think we're going to put you on garbage duty. Uh, oh, or the trawling dock, because we're running out of food here. Uh, yeah, we have enough krill. I think I switch you to... Oh, we have to unlock other types of food. Well, never mind. I'm going to put you on garbage duty. I think that makes a lot more sense. If we can stockpile some garbage. Uh, speaking of which, the warehouse that we're storing everything in is over here. Which is a little bit far away from that. But, yeah, whatever. If these seals just keep coming and getting our food, we're never going to be able to stock up on our, our ice blocks. All right, so produce ice spears. That's a pretty easy one, too. It'll give us ice blocks as a reward. I think I'm going to leave this video right here. I think we've had uh, a good look at how the game works. We are we're seeing a declining reputation because of all sorts of things, probably. We do have temporary reputation points that are we're regaining, but yet we're still dropping. I have to believe it has to do with just the general stats of things. Right? We don't have enough stuff here. So I need more stuff. All right, I need more food. I need more happiness. I need more... I mean, I have more penguins now than I did before, but reputation has been on a slow decline. And if I can get education up too, that'd be nice too. And uh, doing that is, is nice. I could put it over here. I have to unlock it, of course, with science. So school, for example. And then I can build the school. Uh, I have to figure out where the heck that is. Lodge community school here it is uh educates ch uh, child penguins until they reach 50 percent education level and i can place that over here uh near all the homes i just need to have uh power with it too so i guess it would be here that's where it would fit we'd have power as well as cooling on that so that's what we'll do there and we'll get educate our kids uh, a little bit we just need plastic which we don't have any of. So that's not going to be, we're not going to be able to build that. So to make plastic, what is the requirement for making plastic? Not the herbs collector. That's on the side anyway. That goes on the edge anyway. Libraries, interesting. Uh, it uh, increases the education level of adult penguins. I'm not sure. Oh, so it's over here. It's in city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wood recycling and plastics recycling stations. All right, so I, I don't know how else we can get it other than just asking the king. I think that's the only way we can do this. Right? I think, I think so. I'm, I'm, I'm not not seeing any other way of doing it. Um, which What's the building that lets us do that? It's the... I don't remember what... Uh, village Hall is what it is. Yeah, we can request stuff from the king. So we'll have that. And then the village hall is located. I, I just want a big menu where I can put things. That that's one thing I think they this can really use. If I had to improve this, I would say that the tabs and stuff, they're not making as much sense to me as, at the very least, give me a search bar. So I can just like pop it in and then you could just isolate things to that right uh, uh dynamically updating search bar would be huge because like village center is not obvious where that's located so community is here i mean once you know where it is of course you just you just have it right but um at the moment it didn't it didn't look like yeah uh so garbage is needed for this as well and i don't have enough but once i get enough we'll put it right here i guess uh once we get enough then I'd be able to request that stuff. But I think the video is long enough now and you kind of get the point, right? So I'm going to leave it here. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate you. Hope you had a wonderful day. And again, if you like this game, uh, you can check it out on Steam yourself. Don't make the same mistakes I did and you'll be okay. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.